would the WHO consider Taiwan's membership? Hello? We, with the, with the I'm sorry, I can't hear. I couldn't hear your question. Okay, yeah. Let me let, let me let me repeat the question. No, so. that's okay. Let, let's move to another one then. Right, because because I'm I'm actually curious on talking about Taiwan as well on Taiwan's case. We decided to give Dr. Alward another call to follow up. And I just want to see if you can comment a bit on how Taiwan has done so far in terms of containing the virus. Well, we've, we've already talked about China. And, um, you know, when you look across all the different areas of, uh, of China, they've actually all done quite a good job. So with that, I'd like to thank you very much for inviting us to participate. And, uh, and good luck as you go forward with the battle in Hong Kong. You know, the more and the more that I hear about the world, health organization the more things just don't seem right constantly praising china and a job well done oh you guys did amazing who continues to have confidence in china's capacity to control the outbreak china is doing many good things that slowing the virus there are wonderful lessons we can learn from China. as well commend the World Health Organization on an amazing job. You guys did a really good job as well. WHO has also been challenged for its slowness in exercising its emergency authority under the international health regulations. The organization did not declare the coronavirus to be a global pandemic until March 11th, by which time the outbreak had already spread to at least 112 countries and infected over 110,000 people. Well, maybe we should take a look at, allegedly, the methods that China has taken. Maybe we need to take the methods that China has done. The World Health Organization is praising them, so maybe we should do what China's done. A Wuhan hospital is sending coronavirus patients for cremation while they're still alive. That's according to a woman in a video that's circulating on social media. Speaking in a Wuhan dialect, the woman describes how she witnessed the patient next door being sealed up in body bags. This video could not be independently verified. She goes on to say the man was wrapped in four body bags and then put into a box-like device. The man was in his 70s and critically ill. He was in room number 18, the ward next door to her. The woman says she witnessed several cases. She says another old man in the hospital was also cremated before he passed away. After the patients are sent away in the box-like device, the woman says doctors then tell the patient's relatives that their loved ones have passed away. She didn't clarify what the box-like device is. Reporting by Juliet Song, NTD News, New York. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
这个安宁服务的啊快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点快点
还卖烟呢，你看又吸烟，厉害。这门已经封好了，我也是你妈就能开这么大。你只能开这么大，他对呀，人出不去啊、嗯，小孩可以跑。你把Take him out, and uh, I just wanted to say that definitely take this serious. Stay safe. Be cautious.、Uh, you know, there's variety of people from the people that don't believe anything that's happening that this is make believe, and from the people that are going crazy. And like in Iran, these people drank a bunch of methanol. Three hundred plus people dead, a thousand ill because they were told that this was the cure. You know, so you have the people that are oblivious, and maybe it's a comfort thing, pretending that this is not happening. You have the oblivious people, which is、uh, just just careless and putting others in danger and family members. And then you have the people that, like in real life, believe anything. It really is true that a mass portion of society are just sheep, that they are incapable of thinking for themselves, that they don't have their own thought. And I can only imagine. With the so-called people up top, the social structure that placed them there, they must be looking at us and like, wow, these people are animals. They are so easily manipulated. They will do anything. Look at the toilet paper people. These people will kill and attack each other over over toilet paper. And these other people in Iran, they'll believe anything. They'll drink the Kool Aid and kill themselves. Which, well, let me not say. I was gonna say they already do anyway, but I, sh- I shouldn't do that. Right? That's not nice to say. Some, not all of them. Whatever. But、seriously though, take care of yourselves, man. Peace.